This Miramar lesson will be about working with multiple languages. Uh, we actually touched on this in the uh, 1.2b uh, uh, clip where we created our first language file and towards the end there I showed you how you can create multiple. So we will just recap all of that and what you can do is, is uh, when watching this clip is uh, press the your space bar or the pause button after you've seen a step then actually go to your Miramar and, uh, and do that. Come back to the clip to watch, pause it back to your desktop and your Miramar and, and do the step. That's a handy little tip when watching these videos. So here we go. Uh, so we're at the login screen. I'm going to create, uh, this is going to be an example uh, a real example in in some respects in that this is a, a question which has come to myself from uh, Canada with the uh, the Cree and the Dene languages uh, which uh, some Miramar users are working on there or about to commence working on. So we'll actually use that as a real example for them to follow as well as yourselves. So I'll click on create. I'm going to type in the language name. Click OK. Go to navigate to Miramar language work in my documents, the databases folder, and here we will create the Cree dat as you can see down the bottom here. Don't change the name, click save, and uh, there we go. We can actually log in using the admin, and uh, we all know that none of us actually have the name admin. But um, initially we can log in to uh, this database using using this. Go to editor screen. And uh, here we are. Ideally, we will uh, quickly go down to tools, options, uh, users. I'm going to add myself as a user here. Darren, click OK. My password. Everyone close their eyes. OK, I'm just going to verify, close your eyes again, click OK. Yes, do you wish to add this user to the current language? Yes. I now highlight my name. I will give myself admin rights for this uh, example here. Close that off. File. Log out. I'll now create uh, my second language to work on. Dene, click OK. Navigate to my Miramar language work, databases. It's already named. Click Save. Login as admin. Password. And uh, here we are logged in here, as you can see, we're in the Dene language. It says it here, here, and also down the bottom, identifies it. So tools, options, you'll see that I am not a user yet. So I will create that, my password, look away everyone, confirming. Click OK. Do you wish to add to the current language? Yes. Highlight my name. Admin. You can see it's now in uh, blue on mine here. Close that off. File. Log out. I can actually now go choose because these are separate databases here. So I'll go to Cree. Here we are with Cree. Now I can log in using my name, my secret password, which I never forget. Go to editor, add a new entry down to the bottom right hand corner, press plus. My first Cree word. In English, 
go over here and I'll show capitalize Cree. When I click off the fields here, they're actually saved. So Miramar automatically saves there. Even though you have a file save, I could click that as well. I'll go file and log out. Because I'm going to a separate, totally separate database. Click choose. Then a You'll see my name is now there. Log in. Editor. Bottom right hand corner to the plus, add new entry. My first DNA word. And over here it will be in English. When I click off that field, Miramara saved, or you can do the save, but just by clicking off that field, Miramara saved that for you as well. So we can easily see that we're in Dene. I'm logged in on the bottom left hand corner here, user Darren, language, Dene, and uh, file, log out. Remember, it's the choose. If I wish to go to a Wabakal now, click open. And here we can see the language of Wabakal is here. Admin, and I can log into there. And uh, that's the end of uh, this particular one here for you. Hopefully this uh, helps you understand that. And um, of course there's an awful lot more and I could talk about this more, but we uh, will leave it at that for now. Thank you.